343 just released a patch update for Halo Infinite. This update was meant to resolve a lot of issues that came with the release of Season 3, but some issues even before the release of Season 3 were mentioned within these patch notes. We're talking like frame rate issues and flag juggling. So if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Let's start off with probably the biggest issue that was fixed within the patch notes, and that is the frame rate issue with Xbox Series S and X consoles, or if you had it set to 120 frames, it wasn't exactly well doing that. Now this should be working properly now, again, at least above 90 frames. I can imagine this being almost unplayable for some people just because playing at 120 frames makes a huge difference over 60 frames. It's a big reason why I switched to PC and now I play 144 frames when I can in Halo Infinite, but I digress. The next big change, well, that really needs to happen is that 65% of you are not subscribed to the channel. We do Halo news, info, and gameplay on the channel, guys, on a daily basis. We've been talking a lot about Season 3 and we're going to be talking a lot more about Halo Infinite, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's get right back into those details. The next bullet point here says that they improved the stability when navigating customization menus on the Xbox Series S and X consoles, stating while this reduces the likelihood of the game crashing while navigating customization menus, there is ongoing work to address reports of low frame rates in these menus. Personally, I have not had this crashing issue, but the framiness within customization has definitely been there for me. Well, obviously, this part is an ongoing story, and as soon as we get some more information, I'll share it with you guys here on the channel. Now, this is probably the biggest update for me personally, saying that there is no slight delay between dropping objectives such as the flag or oddball and switching weapons. So for someone like myself who likes to play ranked Halo Infinite and a lot of times you have to juggle the flag so you can move across the map faster, well now you should be able to do that without fumbling the flag all the time like I've been doing since this update. And don't worry, some of you custom game players also got some love within this patch now saying that game mode details are now visible in the custom game browser menu and when viewing the details menu of a custom browser session. And well you know me, I'm all about the details. When playing on Xbox One consoles or on PC, friendly and enemy spartans will now appear more consistently on Forge maps. We also got an update to the theater mode within Halo Infinite. No, it's not completely fixed, but there are some issues that were resolved with this patch, saying that theater films now accurately reflect the match's full duration and the timeline now displays score events that can be skipped to. The second bullet point actually is more of a heads up, if anything, saying that theater films created in an earlier version of Halo Infinite no longer have a watch film button that when selected leads to an indefinite loading screen. This has actually been a thing that's been going on with Halo since the MCC on PC run, where whenever there is a big update, there's always some issue when it comes to clearing out all your theater clips and videos. So just know when the end of June rolls around and season four comes here, to make sure to save all your theater clips the best way you can on your hard drive. And lastly, using the W or S keys to navigate the rubble section of the assets menu in Forge Objects browser no longer results in a crash. I'm glad to see that this patch went live just a week after the launch of Season 3. Previously, this would have taken much longer to get this out, so things are improving with the game. And 343 seems to be doing a better job of giving players what they want, and I covered that in this previous video on the screen right now. So thank you all for watching, greatly appreciate it, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.